Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. So goes the rhyme of the ancient mariner about the parched life on the salt-filled oceans. In the North Atlantic, that famous line is being tested. One of the last places you would probably look for fresh water on Earth is beneath the ocean, which is full of salt. A group of North American and European researchers spent the summer drilling off the coast of Massachusetts for water, going as far as 400 metres below the seabed. The two most surprising things that we've seen here are one, that the shallow, the freshened water is starting at a much shallower depth than we had originally anticipated and ending deeper than we had originally anticipated. It's been decades since fresh water was first discovered under the sea. They're believed to be dotted around the five oceans, but scientists still don't know how or when the aquifers were formed. One theory is that rainwater seeped beneath a beach that was later covered by ocean. Another is that a melting ice sheet sunk into the soil. That's a hypothesis that we're going to be able to test with some of our techniques. Scientists have extracted thousands of samples Samples from a huge aquifer that's thought to stretch from the coast of Maine to New Jersey. As countries' economies develop, our thirst continues to grow. But who would own fresh water buried under the high seas? And what are the costs of drinking that up? If it's connected to the terrestrial supply, then pumping could you know, be pulling fresh water from beneath the islands offshore which would then deplete the supply of any of the islands. So there's a lot of potential risks to, to exploiting that. When it comes to leaving underground liquids where they lie, us humans do not have the greatest track record. Researchers will spend months analysing the samples before producing a report on their findings. Redmond Channel Global News, London.